Hi, my name is Rob Thornton from Acromedia. Today I wanted to do a talk on uh, just a very brief uh, overview of memory usage in PHP. And in that, uh, basically covering a very specific uh, piece of information, which is uh, how arrays are used and passed around inside of PHP uh, in order to give uh, you the uh, the tools that you might need to make uh, decisions uh, about how you're using arrays and uh, how maybe you can improve things. Um, typically in PHP, um, it becomes very easy to forget that uh, there is data and information being passed around and memory isn't necessarily uh, important. Um, but unfortunately, uh, of course it is, no matter uh, how much memory we have available, it is uh, an important resource for us to have. And uh, so we do need to keep in mind that uh, it is something that's there. Um, at some point uh, in PHP's history, uh, arrays were something that were copied whenever you would pass them into uh, an array, or most likely they were. Um, I don't uh, have an, not an authority specifically on the history of PHP, but uh, from what digging I have done, that looks to be the case. And when you uh, when you copy data, especially when it gets larger, uh, it costs a lot of uh, CPU time uh, and uh, and memory space as well. Um, what this basically means is that if you have a very large array of you know 10,000 to 100,000 uh, different elements, when you pass that array into a function, you are making a complete copy of it. So you're duplicating all of those values. And one by one, they get copied over into the new piece of memory. So now you have two copies of it. Of course, uh, you know this isn't the uh, the fastest thing you can do. And so, if the PHP interpreter can, it it will cheat. It will uh, you know try to avoid that copy if it can. Uh, so in modern PHP, uh, arrays are passed by reference. Uh, and that's a term that um, you know maybe you've heard but you don't quite understand um, or even understand the concept of what a pointer is. And maybe you do and if you do then you can uh, safely skip this little portion. The idea is that what you're doing is passing the address of where that array is located in memory. That way the interpreter can jump straight to that address uh, without having to get a fresh full copy of everything in the array. Um, there does exist, however, in PHP because you cannot uh, expl well, you can, I should say, you can explicitly uh, pass an array by reference. Um, but uh, the copying may happen whether you like it or not. And that's where some of the hidden parts and needing to understand how PHP does its work uh, can be very useful to you. Um, when you pass a value, a large array or any array, I should say, into uh, into a function, and all that all you're doing is getting an array, what it's actually doing is implicitly creating a pointer to that piece of memory. Um, they, uh, you know, this makes addressing that array much easier because when you have that address, each element in the array is just one offset from that piece of memory. And so if PHP can save doing the work of making a copy, it will. Um, however, unknown to you that if you decide to modify that array, uh, it now does need to do a copy and that is called copy on write. So when you write to an array, you uh, PHP will then make a complete copy of it and then do the work and pass that value back. In, uh, in this piece of code that you're looking at here, um, you can see that we have a function called pass by value. We, uh, if the, we do a little check here to make sure if the array is, is empty, we just return the original array. It seems pretty normal to do. Um, but otherwise, we're going to uh, take the last element of the array uh, and append a new value incremented by one uh, into it and returning the array. Now here you can see that we were expecting an array to be passed in and at this point when this happens the array is passed in by reference. Uh, so just the address of the array is passed in. However when it reaches this line here on line 36 it now makes a full copy of the array. 
So it allocates a duplicate amount of memory and then fills that memory with the contents of the other array and makes a complete copy of it. It then appends that new value to it and returns that new array back to the function that called it. By comparison, the pass by reference function you can see has this little ampersand symbol and that's dictating to PHP that I want you to pass this array by value or by reference I'm sorry you're enforcing it to do that with this reference now when you append to this array you are appending to the original array and returning the result now there's no copying being done here you're taking the original array and appending to it so bear in mind that you are modifying the original array. Whereas in the first version of pass by value, you are creating a copy and returning the copy of the array. Uh, we have a little utility function, create array that will generate a array of a specific size. And it'll just uh, fill that up and return the result. And a uh, very naive or cheeky little function called bench that will um, iterate through uh, the array, well, we'll create an array 10,000 times and call each of the respective functions with an array of size of 10,000. So, uh, you know, that's a fair test to, uh, to put it through. And then here we can see that we try passing by value and passing by reference. By using a, a memory profiler, we can then get the information to see which of these two functions is faster. In this window, uh, you can see that there is, uh, this is the information that we're looking for. Um, it tells us the amount of time that was, was spent on it, how many times each function was called. Uh, we can see that benchmark was indeed called twice, which is what we expect if we move back here, we can see that benchmark was called twice. Create array gets called 20,000 times. Well, that makes sense. We iterate through it 10,000 times and uh, it's done twice. So we get the duplicate of 20,000 times. But here we start getting into the interesting part. We can see pass by value and pass by reference. Now, both functions did pretty much exactly the same thing, except one, we explicitly wanted the reference and the other one we didn't. And now we can start seeing where the difference is. 3,994 milliseconds spent running this function, which took 7, or 7.4% of the time of running this function, versus pass by reference took 2.9 seconds to run, or 5.5%. That is, a, you know, in a long running program, that can be a pretty significant amount of time. And if you're only doing something once, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this is a, a ton of time when you're doing larger calculations or an even larger array, you can see how this kind of thing can, can add up. So bear in mind now, when you are working in PHP and you are passing arrays around, especially large arrays, um, if you're working in frameworks, perhaps like Drupal, and you are uh, passing a render array around, they can get quite large. Uh, and so if you're simply modifying that array, bear in mind that it is probably to your advantage to pass a reference to it, if what you want to do is modify the original array. If, however, you don't want to modify it and you want to make sure that you are getting a copy, then of course you would pass it by value and you will have to create a new array using the old data. So, Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this uh, has uh, provided some insight to you on how PHP works. Um, understanding how copy on write works is something worth looking and that's uh, a keyword that you should look up on, on uh, whatever search engine you happen to use. Um, there, of course, uh, there will be more videos coming. Um, so please subscribe to, uh, to our videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please do so below. Uh, you can reach us through our contact page at acromedia.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Also, if you have a project you're working on and think we could help, you know, please email solutions at acromedia.com.